Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I am in the middle of seven cigar box guitar builds. So, as you know, I like to drive around and find these uh, stakes that are all over the place. And I look for the good Doug Fur ones especially the ones with the tight greens that are super straight. And then I got a whole bunch of these Lowe's yardsticks and I built seven necks. This is what one of them looks like. And I'm in the middle of Doing this one here, I do have the back angle, the heel, the um, fretboard, because everything's been uh, routed and carved. I mean, this one's just kind of in, in the middle of the process. Um, my my uh, challenge is keeping them all s organized and um, together. So I got boxes with the neck, and I try to, try to keep them all together. I do have one done. Two done. Two done and let's see, seven minus two is five. Five more to go. So this would be the third one. And all of these are going to have a piezo that is going to be just directly wired to the jack will be no volume or nothing you just plug it in and you'll use the amplifier to turn up or down your volume every one of these will have a business card in it and every one of them will be 23 inch scale uh, where's my template here? 23 inch scale fretboard every one of them will have this traditional style headstock every one of them will have the Lowe's fretboard. And what else? Everyone will have the solder burns. And notice how I have a big fat solder burn there for the 12th fret. Um, I did want to point out a few things here. Like for example, for example here, these blocks. I went ahead and I used the cutout with some spacers underneath it for the block for, on both of these here. I just thought that was rather interesting. Um, there's going to have also some dissimilarities too. In other words, this box here, because it's a white box, I opted to paint the, the back of the neck and the headstock white as well. I also lightly painted the fretboard, but not as much. I didn't want to cover up these the letters there. So it's very, very, very lightly painted on the fretboard. Not enough to um, cover the numbers, but um, and the back also. They all are going to be string through as well. This one here is only going to have a single sound hole. I didn't want to mess up the logo there on the top. Um, I have um, different styles of boxes as well. This one will be same thing. I haven't cut the notches on this one here yet. I did put the jack, but so every one of these is in a very various stages. I'm hoping to finish them tonight. No guarantees, no promises. Where's the other? I guess I only have one of those. Okay. Um, Artur Fuente. These uh, Macanudo boxes here are magnetic. They have like these little magnet. I don't know if you can see them right here, but there's a little magnet here and also one right here. Ding. And they correlate with these little metal pieces in the top. So they kind of like snap together so that they don't pop open. 
So that's kind of cool. I like that. Interesting box. I did put the skinny strings on here. This is the 30, the 22, and the 14. So I'll do a sound sample on the next video after I get all of these done. That one's tuned D, A, D. These are the same strings, but these are tuned C, uh, C, G, C. So be sure to tune into the next video so that you can see all the completed cigar box guitars. Now these are going to be very affordable instruments and I will try to figure out how to put them up for sale on my website. Um, just in time for Christmas. All right, I'll see you in the next video.